Hey Anthony, nice to see you today. Just want to go over a couple of points we discussed during today's session. Um, we, we talked about three things today. Uh, the first one was your ball position. Uh, just looking on the video here, the, the ball position does look a little bit back in the stand. So we just wanted you to move that forward a little bit, um, about an inch or so, just back towards the centre. Um, the other point we discussed was your weight transfer. Um, just looking at the video here on the left hand side, which is what we took early on in the lesson. One on the right is what we took later on in the lesson after we made a couple of changes. All got you to do a little drill. Uh, so looking at the line in the middle, just showing your centre line. The line down your left leg is showing how much movement and weight transfer you've got during that golf swing. Um, so as we take you to the top of your back swing. See there, during the golf swing itself. And the top of the swing. So as you've got you there to the top of your back swing. See there, you stay really centered during that back swing, which is perfect. Just what we're looking for. Now from there, we need good weight transfer to the left hand side. Uh, during this swing, just take you now back down to impact. as we're coming into that golf ball. You see now your left leg is still touching that line. Your upper centre is just a fraction behind the centre line to start with. Again, as we discussed, because your head and your centre line are behind that line, you're just staying a little bit too much behind the golf ball. Um, if you time it right, you can get some good shots, um, but just slightly mistimed, you've got a chance of hitting the ground first or catching that ball a little bit on the thin side. Um, so, what we really discussed was giving you a, a, a practice drill to work on in allowing you to get your weight across to that left hand side, putting you into a much better position. Um, so, the video on the right hand side was one of those drills itself. So, we worked on you making the swing and as you're coming through the golf ball, taking a step afterwards. Now, in taking that step afterwards, that's allowing your weight to transfer from the right hand side and move into your left hand side during the down swing. So again, during this swing, good centre back swing, a little bit of a sway there to the right hand side, but again, not really an issue because we're now working on that weight transfer, so we're going to concentrate on getting into a much better position back at impact. So as we're taking you down to that impact position, <coughs> So ideally there we wanted you to start your downswing with your lower body, pushing your hips to the uh, left hand side. So as we're doing the downswing, your hips are going to work to that left hand side there, and then as your hips are then going to start to rotate out of the way to allow the rest of your body coming through. So as we continue that swing, as your weight's coming through, you can see now as your hips have pushed forwards, they've pushed to the left hand side, so they're now not touching that line, they've crept in front of that line, showing that there is weight transfer there, but also because the weight's coming through um, towards your target, now your upper centre is actually working to the left of that line and not behind it. So again, being in that sort of position is going to allow a steeper angle of attack into that golf ball, creating a much more consistent strike um, and also creating a little bit more power into that shot itself. And again, as we discussed, um, by taking the step after you've hit the shot, only in the practice drill, by taking that, sh that step afterwards allows you to push that weight across a little bit more. Um, so again, really want you to drive that weight forwards during the downswing, get your hips a little bit more forwards or a little bit more towards your target during that downswing which will then will bring your upper centre creeping a little bit more to the left of this centre line creating a much more consistent shot. The other part of the golf swing really we touched about was the release of the golf club and the timing of that release. Um, so as you start in your downswing Again, we touched on this last lesson. It is a lot better this time, um, 
but again still needs a little bit of work. So what we're trying to do on this position is trying to maintain that 90 degrees of wrist angle or wrist cock for as long as possible. Um, but we can see for yourself, just starting to release that club a little bit too soon. There, you've already lost that 90 degrees. So we're saying there, you lo you're going to lose a little bit of power, and also that's going to create a little bit of inconsistency around the impact area, bringing the club in a little, possibly a little bit too shallow, um, creating a position where you might catch the ground a little bit too soon. But again, power wise, holding that 90 degrees wrist angle at least until somewhere around that position with your arms will create that little bit of leverage into the golf ball will create much more power um, so you're not needing to put as much effort into the shot and you'll still hit the golf ball further so just give us a shout if you need any help with that um, but on the other hand, good luck with it um, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon